Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my buddy Donato with us from Compete Now. Good afternoon. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, good. Good. Thanks for having me on. So I actually come on today because I want to talk about Google AdWords. It's something, you know, that I know I should be considering. I just don't know anything about it. What type of businesses should be using Google AdWords and how do they know what they should be doing? Yeah. Yeah. Google ads are definitely the more viable option for most small businesses. Um, search engine optimization can be very effective, but it's also very time consuming. Um, it can cost a lot of money if you can't do it yourself because of, it is it does take so much time and expertise and it can take months or even years before you see any return on your investment with, with SEO. So if you're going to invest in SEO, and you should, that's great, but you're still going to need to invest in something that's going to get leads in the door today. And for mo like I was saying, for many businesses, Google ads is a good route to go because you're bidding on high intent keywords that are otherwise very difficult to rank for, um, for most industries. And when it comes to determining what industry is a good fit for Google ads, there's a couple of factors that come into it. It is a uh, auction based bidding system. So competition can play a big role in, in whether or not Google ads is viable for your industry. Um, also, once you start taking that into an account, what you make off of a sale and your margins can have a big impact on that. So for example, there's a, one of our clients is a insurance agent and for him to run Google ads, the cost per click would be so high that it was, it's highly unlikely that for, he's going to get any kind of a return on any policies that he sells using Google ads, because for whatever reason, or I'm sure the numbers play out, but Geico and all these national competitors are willing to pay a lot of money to get somebody. And maybe they're not even making money off those clients for three years, but they're just banking that they'll get enough of them over time that they'll keep getting the renewals and upsell them on other products. Um, so that's just an example of an industry that wouldn't typically uh, work well for it. But then there are other more niche industries like potentially networking might, you know, might be might be one of them. And then there are some industries that we run for that are very low competition uh, industries. Uh, a good example of one we're working on now is uh, a dog trainer. Um, the cost per click is very low relative to other industries. The cost of the service is not high, but you know, not cheap either. And the margins on that service are pretty good because it's more so just the trainer's time. So that's, that is one industry that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars a month to get a, a very, very good, you know, up to five to one, 10 to one return on the ad spend if you're doing it right. Um, so that is kind of how we kind of determine what industry could work for Google ads. And when we try to evaluate an industry, there's a Google ads keyword planner. And we would usually do a free consultation for the client, try to figure out what the cost per click is going to be. How many clicks can we get in a month for what budget? How many leads should that lead to? How many leads do you need to actually get a sale? And if you get one sale, does it even, is it even worth it? <laughs> you know, you're making, are you making enough off that sale that is going to at least cover, cover the cost. Or how many sales do you need so that you can determine what the monthly budget should be? And then, you know, then you can just evaluate, does this look like if we did do this, is there a good chance or that work that it's going to be profitable? And then if it is, then we'll try it out for three months and, and we um, track all the leads that the clients get and, um, you know, report each month, not just on clicks and activity, but actually put it into a spreadsheet. What are you getting for your money? And how much did you make net profit off that? Not even, not necessarily just gross and compare it to how much you're spending on it. That really makes sense because like you said, for a lot of companies that have small ticket prices, it, it may not make sense. But mm -hmm. I like that you can help people pick the, the proper terms to search for because sometimes what's just too close to our business and we think, you know, someone's looking up a term and if they're really not, they're, you know, they're thinking like networking, you know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, people are looking for networking, but they're looking for online events instead. So mm -hmm. to figure out what term they're looking for, 
that's really helpful too to make sure you are spending your money wisely, right? Yeah, definitely. And also, um, partly what we do is we work where our, our first background is in web design, and then we really got big into Google ads as well. And um, we help to make sure that the um, the ads on the Google campaign are matching up with the landing pages we're driving to. So for you, you might have you might have one landing page for in-person networking. You might have another landing page for virtual networking. And we would have keywords and phrases set up so that if somebody did was looking for online, they would go right to the page that's really specific to what they're searching for to increase the chances they were going to get that that lead from that person. Makes sense. So what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can I learn more about Google AdWords? Yeah, I have a um, webinar that's recorded um, about what, about Google Ads, so I could share that. Um, that has an exercise where I show how I go in the keyword planner and do all that. Um, separately from that, just scheduling a call with me. I have a meeting scheduler, and um, it'll, you know, it books it in thirty minute increments, and and I would just you know do the same kind of explanation of how it works, and then run through that keyword planner with that business to try to figure out a uh, an ROI expectation if they were to try to, or goal if they were gonna try it out. So what number should they call you at? What email should they use? Which one would you prefer? Yeah, yeah, the best email is D, like dog, at competenow.biz. Um, or you can go to our website at startcompeting.com and book a call there. Um, so those are probably, and then the phone number is 617-539-6528. And then if you click for sales or for me, it'll come to me both ways. <laughs> Not a very big company. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to call into the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thank you.